What's up everybody, AJ here back again with another video. So, I'll be checking out Bernice's agent story in Zenless Zone Zero. So, without further ado, let's jump right into Bernice's agent story. <laughs> So, in order to access into Bernice's agent story, just head to the video archive here. There it is. The Bernice agent story, A Stroke of Luck, has been recorded and can be viewed in the video archive. Got it. So, let's just. Hyper tell me a joke, what the hell? <clears throat> so, as, as per usual, the. Uh, Bernice's agent story consists of three, three parts, just like how I did it with um, Grace's agent story. So, average enemy level 58. Holy crap. But anyhow, I really, really want to check out Bernice's agent story. So, without further ado, let's jump in. You are about to enter immersive storytelling, blah 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 blah. Um. Oh, we're back here at the the tour of the inferno. I forgot the name of the place. Even though it's been a few weeks since the last time I cleared. <coughs> since the I cleared the tour of the inferno story quest. Money's too tight these days. We're taking a small commissions now. <coughs> Sorry. It's a really easy commission. If you're up for it, we can get it done now while you're here. What now? And here I was thinking little Omi could get some extra shut eye. Wait! Bernice and Piper, you're the best. We'll go back and get things ready. See you inside the hollow. Wait, so Piper and I will see you down in the hollow then. And once they're all done, I'll treat everyone to some nitro fuel. Bernice's initiative is credible. After taking on her commission, we dive straight into the hollow. So let's have a conversation with Belle first. So your finances may be limited, Master. My power is not something I would advise cutting back on. If you wish to save money, I have compiled a list of second assistant recent expenses. <coughs> One trans fat snack from the convenience store two days ago. Seven game tokens at the arcade without even beating the top score yesterday. Today, games at the Only a fortune will fall right to our laughs. <coughs> anyway, you should use the hollow deep dive system to do the commission. Wise, my support will be free as usual. Alright, let's do this. Something could happen. Oh! Trial use. Good. 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 This is a very good opportunity to test out, um, or should I say, try out Bernice for those of you guys who don't have Bernice. She is a cool character, I will say this. What was that just now? <laughs> Let him do it. Hey, come on, I can take him. Hey, back up here. Red light. Piper, take a break from me. Hey, 
a what? Um, where to go? Take the kill. Next. Looks like there's someone up ahead. Gotta take him out quick. Let's go. That's that old lady. Thank you. Looks like luck, isn't it? Should they come again? It's still not over. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Be careful. Thanks, darling. Let's see. Bonus in action. Cute. Bernice, it's about time we wrap this up. Alrighty. Uh oh. This is my latest formula. Bottoms up. Damn. Mm. And Papa just like. Cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, little ones. And this cutie bamboo, of course. Cutie bamboo? Oh, you don't have to thank me. Just thank Bernice. Are you really fine? Getting attacked by ethereals at your age is no laughing matter. <laughs> she looks really tough. And much more spirited than you, Piper. Oh, <laughs> such a sweet young lady. Keep it coming. I love hearing these things. I hope I'll be as spirited as you are when I turn 90. <coughs> <laughs> I'm not 90 years old. Bernice, is that your name? Thank you for rescuing me. I want to do something for you in return. Where do you work? I'll write you a thank you letter. Uh, getting a thank you letter for doing a good deed is so not rock and roll for a biker gang from the Outer Ring. Oh, is that so? Then do you want money? I have a lot of it. Uh, no, money can't convey my gratitude. Mm. Uh, wait, uh, don't be so quick to decide. <laughs> uh, Bernice, hey, Bernice, say something. You're right. There's no need to give us money. Money was the furthest thing from our minds when we saved you. 
please. Just take care of yourself and live a healthy life until you're 90. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live longer than that. The Deadpool and Wolverine but reference. You really are Till you're 90. Nice young lady. All right. Then please take this. It'll bring you good luck. Is that a lottery ticket? I grabbed one while passing by the store. The friendly clerk there chose the numbers for me. My palms started getting hot when I purchased it. So I think it's a lucky ticket. I've oh. lived more than enough years to know that this is a sign of Lady Luck smiling at me. I'm sure it's worth at least two million. Whoa! Two million? I'm gonna fill a swimming pool with nitro fuel and make Piper teach me how to swim! Uh, but I don't know how to swim either. Is it already getting to your head? Bernie stays to watch the supplies while Piper and Roxy escort the old lady out of the hollow from the nearest exit. <clears throat> Proxy, are we thinking the same thing? About the lottery ticket getting to Bernice's head? Of course. Bernice's endearing quality is her unwavering optimism. <sighs> That's what I love about her. So I don't want to see her feeling down. Reality always brings you down, doesn't it? Though it's a pain, I'll take it upon myself to remind her of the reality. Hey! You're back! Guess what I'm thinking about? Three, two, one! That's right! I'm thinking about how we should split that huge prize of two and a half million between the three of us. We only left for 10 minutes and the prize money has already grown by an imaginary 500,000? Oh, I wish my stocks could do that. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd be happy, Piper. Didn't you always like discussing the lottery with other truck drivers? It's not the actual tickets we love. It's the prize money. Ah, Bernice, listen to me. Lottery tickets are a mix of statistics and pure dumb luck. But in the end, it's 95% statistics and 5% the dark side of society. Got it? Thanks. <laughs> I don't get it at all. What? I hope you never do. Oh my it's gosh. It's complicated this... for me to explain in detail. But if this woman, I with swear. By the store, you might have a slim chance of winning a small prize. A big prize? Oh. <laughs> no way. But the results haven't been announced yet. It's too early to say there's no way. Ah, uh, don't give me one of those sports comic book lines like the opponents at their match point, but we haven't lost yet. Anyone who's made a bet knows miraculous victories only happen in comics. <sighs> Let me take a look at the ticket. The time on the ticket's still there, so it should be for tonight's draw. Oh, on TV? Cool, can't wait. Hey, Proxy. I need to talk to you. It's practically impossible for this ticket to win, but I don't want Bernice to be alone when she gets disappointed. So... Bernice, let's head over to the video store on 6th Street to watch the draw, okay? We can watch it together. Okay. Mission complete. Ahem! <clears throat> Wise, welcome back. Bernice and Piper should be here soon. They must be taking a look around 6th Street right about now. Wanna go look for them? Oh, hell yes! Yeah, I see them. And rest assured, I won't be making any, um, heat stops. You find Bernice chatting with Piper outside the, the, the go. <laughs> Zealous, fix this. You find Bernice chatting with P Piper outside the, the go. <laughs> Zelda Zero, please fix this. Regards. <laughs> Outside, the 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 the. 
so good today i'm sure they hit the jackpot oh dear that's not how it was these are two isolated incidents why can't we just trust in the science oh, oh, oh Froxy, i already made my mind up we're splitting the jackpot between the three of us so why don't you start thinking about what you put your winning towards uh no need to rush in fact she's like a sauna or something the more <laughs> Dude! What's with the text, man? First the the the, and now this. In fact, she's like a sauna or something. The more more... <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be the more I rain, the harder she gets? Somebody at the... At the tax department, something is not doing the job. Somebody at the localization department is not doing their job. Like, what is this, man? We tried our best, haven't we? Now we all can do is let the cold rain on reality teach Bernice a lesson. Is the lorry about to begin? Why don't we head back first, Proxy? Papa and I will come you find you at the store after we finish this night of fuel. That's too. Text error messages. Anyhow, let's not waste any more time here. Head back to the video soon. Alright, let's turn on the TV. Here are the winning numbers for this week's lottery. They only win a, out one number at a time? I can't think. Dude, that's how lottery works, buddy. The more numbers you can match, the more you win. Stop flattering me and watch the TV draw. The few speed numbers are all the same. Do you think this ticket can really hit the jackpot? Here's hoping. Don't get too excited. The price rules only tiny right now. Barely enough to cover three cups of tea milk. Only. And the next number is. This is our number two. Hey, hold on a sec. Do we only need the last two numbers now? Have we matched all the other numbers? Our scrutineer are now observing the drawing of our final two numbers. The final two numbers are... Huh? Are those numbers the same as our ticket? To all those who miss out tonight, don't lose heart and to our lucky winner, congratulations. Reports indicate that tonight's first prize jackpot has reached 3 million Dennis! I wish I had that amount of money. I really do. Let us now, once again, give flowers and applause, our blessings and our envy to those lucky winners. <laughs> what? We really won. And it's the jackpot of three million. Three million Dennys? Whoa, that's a big number! We'll get one million each! Huh? Wait, you were serious when you said that you planned to split the prize with us? Of course! She gave it as a thanks to all three of us. So obviously, the prize should be split evenly among us. Bernice... Huh? What is it? <sighs> it's nothing. You're such a good kid, Bernice. Thank you, Bernice. To be honest... This money is a real lifesaver. What's with the sudden praise? I just did what anyone would do. You two would do the same in my shoes, right? I don't know about the proxy, but my heart is likely as grimy as a truck's exhaust pipe. 
whereas Bernice's heart shines like a truck's headlights. Mm, the sexiest part of a truck isn't the headlights. It's the engine. Oh, when will my heart be able to rumble like an engine? <sighs> it's so nice to be young. Anyway, according to the show, it looks like the prize money won't be given out for a while. What? Then, shall we get going, Piper? Thanks for everything, Proxy. We'll contact you when the prize money arrives. Oh, don't worry. This lottery ticket is too important to lose. I'll make sure to keep it safe. Hehe. <laughs> hey, it's bad luck to say something mm. like that. I should hold on to the ticket just to be safe. Martinin, <laughs> can I pinch you? That granny gave Bernice a lottery ticket to say thanks, and he just so happened to hit the 3 million Dennis jackpot? Splitting a 3 million Dennis jackpot series is also classic Bernice. I'm not so sure I could do the same. Whatever. There's no point in thinking about all that right now. Tonight's team is all about celebrating this 1 million Dennis windfall. Okay. And I believe that's the end of part one. Agent story completed. Yeah. The Bernice Agent story, A Stroke of Luck, part two has been recorded and can be viewed in, in the video archive. So, without further ado. Oh, there's, there's combat involved. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into the second part of A Stroke of Luck. Yes, Bernice. May I help you? I know we see we go claim all 3 million Dennis today, but something's gone wrong. And it's something I can't really handle myself. Okay. Afterward, you follow Bernice into the workshop. I'm sorry for getting a little emotional there for a second, whereas things might not actually be that serious, but... It's just that Piper has our lottery ticket and she's been missing all day. Nobody can get a hold of her. Don't worry, Piper is so nice and she loves us. So there's no way she run off with it. There will always be 3 million Dennis floating around you I do somewhere. But Wise and Bernice were, were both one of a kind. However, I'm still a little worried about Piper's safety, you know. She's been down in a hollow since Saturday testing out a vehicle. And seeing as we can't reach her, she might still be down there. What if something went wrong with the vehicle and she got trapped? Or what if she got too obsessed and... Let's find her then. That's what I thought. Then I'll head down to the hollow to await your orders. Piper seems to have gone missing while running some vehicle tests in the hollows. And you're going in with Bernice to look for her. Let's get on the HDD. Don't worry, guys. Leave it to me too. Do not worry, Master. I will do my utmost to support you. Of course, second assistant will also help. For the 1 million in power funds that is incoming, I will do my best. What's with the emote though? Right. Sharing good fortune. Wait. We're going with Bernice alone? Uh, can I check her out? You cannot switch agents in trial mode. Ugh. I just want to check her out, man. What the hell? Fine. Fine. Years as a proxy. This is the first time I've ever seen somebody try to find someone with the echo location. Oh. Oh. Mark from a truck. She must have been stuck here. Uh, she can't have gotten hey, that far. Hey, you can be over here. here. I knew it. How dare you lay a finger 
on Piper. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Oh. So that's what happened. Bernice, Proxy, I'm surprised you guys managed to find me. I guess some people must have found out about us winning the lottery. Rumors started getting out of hand until someone kidnapped me for the lottery ticket. I'm sure we can find come to a mutual understanding if we talk things through. Those greenhorns couldn't hurt a flea. If they didn't threaten the scrap steel punch, I wouldn't have given them the time of day. Keep moving. Actually, I've seen them somewhere before. They're just both trying to make ends meet in the outer room. <laughs> from the sons of Caledon. They're too much for us to handle. <coughs> but a real man fights against the impossible. That lottery ticket will not only cover my ex-wife's child support, but also help protect our lands. Impressive! Using someone else's lottery ticket to pay for your own child support. And you're still worried about protecting your lands? What a hero. I'm sure your child would be proud. <laughs> uh, trust me, Bernice doesn't mean any harm. That's just the way she talks. Emotional damage! Father. But I grew up in the Outer Rig, and I love these lands to the depths of my soul. I loved my wife too, but these lands remain my greatest love. I'll protect it with my life. Even if some crazy fuel maniac with a billion in prize money plans Come to fight the entire Come area fuel maniac, fuel really? Site, I'll fight to the bitter end. Uh, who's this fuel maniac who sounds even greater than me? Could you introduce me to them? Uh... I think he's talking about the rumored version of you. Huh? Me? Uh, I would never do that! Uh, but now that you mention it, who do I buy the Outer Rings lands from? Well, also, the prize isn't even a billion. It's just three million. Just three million? Uh, if I had that kind of money, my child support would... Boss, now's not the time to be talking about child support. It seems you've fallen for the most extreme version of the rumor, but she doesn't actually have any such plans. Oh, but now that I think about it, setting fire to the outer ring sounds pretty cool. Um. Uh -huh. Take it easy, Bernice. 
We're just about to clear up the misunderstanding. <laughs> I guess we came here for nothing. We came here with empty stomachs, hoping to make a killing with that lottery ticket. But it seems we'll be going home still hungry. It's all right, boss. It doesn't matter if we didn't get the money. The other's low blood sugar has improved tremendously. It won't be like last time when Dickie fainted in that ethereal nest. What? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, just wait a minute. You're the ones who came charging at us. But now you're trying to put on a sad, starving act? Now we're the bad guys? Hey, Bernice, say something. Okay, I've decided. What? Dare I ask what you've decided? To provide self-service snacks during the first Bernie's Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival, of course. A heart needs more than nitro fuel to keep pumping. Did I miss something? The first what? The first Bernice Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival. What? Uh, what's that? I haven't mentioned it to you. Oh, I don't think I have. Well, it's all right. I can just tell you now. I plan to use my one million to buy different flavors of premium nitro fuel and drink with everyone in the outer ring for seven days and nights straight. What do you think? I'm sure everyone will love it. Huh? Uh, are you serious? Free nitro fuel and snacks? And we're all invited? Boss, you're not dreaming. It's a promise straight from Bernice of the Sons of Caledon. Yep. That's right. You can even bring along your ex-wife and daughter. Oh, wait. How old is your daughter? It was her fourth birthday yesterday. Then I'll book her a ticket for the 20th Bernice Cup. If only I knew you were planning to do such a good deed with your winnings. Uh, what have I done? I actually tried to rob a charitable angel like you guys tried to rob a sage! If we weren't so tired from hunger, we'd be tossing you into the air and cheering right now! Wow! I want to get tossed up in the air! Next time you see me, you have to toss me. It's a promise. Of course, of course we will! We'll get going then! Bye! Proxy said the nearest hollow exit is over there. Bernie smiles as she waves vigorously sending out the gangsters who are supporting each other as they walk off. Did you hear that? They want to throw me up in the air and cheer! Ah, oh, everyone here is so nice. I don't know what to say. Proxy? Bernice, you said you wanted to spend all of it on a nitro fuel party? Were you serious? Absolutely! I've been wanting to do it since before I had a million. Oh, everyone's gonna be so happy! Don't tell me you want my idea! Um, you can host a nitro fuel party, but it can't be called the Bernice Cup. You've got to come up with your own name. That's not well, the point! Worry. We would never consider doing something like that. Compared to you, the Proxy and I are normal people. As ordinary as they come. Yep. We have lots of things we want to do and spend our money on. That's why we'll spend our money on improving our own lives. Right, Proxy? Yep. If only if if and only if I had one million dennies. <sighs> Anyhow, let's keep moving. Not gonna lie, this uh, this request has been very engaging so far at the very least. Wow, I did it. They really transferred a million dennies into my account. Happy days are here again. Last last time I was this happy was 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 when that mommy dog in the army brought her puppies over to be like one million, like a dream come true. A few more of these and I wouldn't feel like doing honest hard work anymore. Wait, you guys all get a million dailies? Yeah, Papa told me you got crazy hard taxes in the city, but you still gonna get a. He only got
Youch! For the remaining, like what? 700,000 Denny's got paid up by freaking tax money. What the hell? I should have hit and hit on Turbo. Hmm. That old bad Enzo said a drug like Steel Tusk is a waste of his best oil. Let's see if he get, he says the same thing to some cold hard cash. I also booked an appointment to meet up with my fuel supplier. It's like... Looks I... Again! Localization team is not doing the job! Because... I also booked an appointment to meet up with my fuel supplier. Hehe. <laughs> Looks like where's the word like in between, buddy? Looks like I can buy her lunch today. The word like is missing. What the hell? Localize localization team, do a better job for heaven's sake. I gotta go back and talk with my sister. Ooh, let's split up then. And Proxy, tell me when you get back home safe, okay? They literally leap around the corner. Could you show me a little concern instead? After the discussion, Bernice and Piper leave. We... <laughs> I really did receive 300,000 Denny's. I wish I had this amount of money in real life to be real, you guys. <laughs> Moving on! And. Bell's inside. That gang that was after Piper, Bunny sent them off with just a few words and a million Dennis. That was impressive in more than one way. Come back, Master. I have written out a new Aerodrome Unexpected Income Tax form for you. Below it is last month's power bill and an overdue fine! Very on a day of celebration like this, could you please talk about anything other than a depressing tax report? Anyway, good job, wise. Our next mission is to get some rest. <sighs> All right. So what's the what's in store for the third part of a stroke of luck? Okay. I wonder what's going on, but. Let's just check out the final part of Bernie's agent story. And as a matter of fact, right, this is quite short. Compared to what? Grace's agent story, this took me like what? Almost 1 hour and 30 minutes? This is relatively short. But it's engaging to see. It's engaging? And relatable to say the least. And once again, I wish I had 300,000 Dennis in real life. Anyhow, let's not waste any more time and check out the third part of um, A Stroke of Luck. But they're just everyday life. I'm used to it everyday right now. I have to smile just because you want to see me smile? What are you, the smart police? <laughs> uh oh. I first seen such a terrible mood. Not even I can make her happy. Wait, I got it. Every time you're with the proxy, you always look really happy. Eh. Hey, I'll shoot them a DM asking if they come out to the outer ring. And here we are. Hey, Proxy. 
How have you been? A lot of things have happened. Just don't ask. What happened? Ugh, the atmosphere is so heavy, it's like a fly got stuck to a mousetrap. What happened to the smile you had when leaving with the one million that day? An adult smile vanishes with their money. Facts. Gone? One million is still a huge sum after tax. But it's gone already? Huh, I know you've been modifying Steel Tusk. Did you make it run on Denny's or something? Not quite, but close. You know I've been trying to improve Steel Tusk's performance. So once I had the money, I immediately started searching for the best parts on the market. That's when someone contacted me, saying there was a top-of-the-line truck engine that came from a source with an interesting backstory. Oh, it was such a beauty. I bought it as soon as I saw it. Didn't even haggle. Bernice, you were there at the test drive after we installed it on Steel Tusk, right? Oh, I remember. Steel Tusk won't lose to any vehicle in a contest of speed now. Uh, too bad it ran out of gas after just three kilometers, or I would have driven it for the entire day. What the <sighs> That's hell? the problem. I used premium fuel, but the engine's design sacrifices efficiency for power. With the heavy truck and cargo, even a full tank only lasts three kilometers. Oof. Yeah, Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency does seem to have a problem. Three kilometers? Ooh, that's like a school bus. Obviously, I had to do something about it. I even considered reinstalling the old engine, but I knew I couldn't go back after I put my hands on its steering wheel and got a taste of its speed. So, I needed another solution. Call me desperate, but I bought every exotic energy-saving part I could find on the market, consulted an expert who charged 10,000 denies per hour, and even tried to modify the engine myself. Well, long story short, I spent all that money for nothing. Ooh. That's so touching. You're like a husband who won't give up on his terminally ill wife. Uh, don't say my wife. <laughs> no, I mean, don't say my truck is terminally ill. That's Piper, it really hasn't been easy for you. Before coming here, I thought I had it worse than everyone else. You too, Proxy? I know you citizens of New Eridu pay several times more tax than us. But even then, how expensive could it be to modify your little car? I don't think it's about modifying the car. I didn't modify my car, but there wasn't much money left after paying the ridiculously high tax on my overdue power bill. What's more, my friend wanted to borrow some money to invest. I think people in our situation should just stay away from investments, let alone lending money to a friend to invest. Uh, Why is this so relatable side, in so many ways? Hasn't disappeared, it's just turned into an IOU. Stay positive and hopeful like Bernice, and maybe one day you'll see the money again? Aw, oh, thanks for the compliment. I, I wasn't... Uh, fine, I was complimenting you. It looks like you used your prize money in the best way possible. The proxy and I both thought this money could change our lives. But the happiness didn't last, and life feels even more difficult now. The proxy has to worry day and night about the return on investment, while I constantly worry about how long Steel Tusk can keep running. How did this happen? Bernice, what was on your mind when you spent that money? What was on my mind? Huh. I don't think there was anything on my mind, really. How come you always notice things in life that need changing? Oh, is it because you're smart and observant? I have everything I want. I have fuel, nitro fuel, and the best friends in the world. When something new comes up, I'll take it in stride. Like how you were new to me, Proxy. But now we're friends. And I know that you like me for me, so I don't need to change anything about myself. Not that I would. Not for you, anyone, or anything. Yeah. That's why I'm dragging you two along with me to complete commissions, even though I know you're both in a bad mood. Maybe you'll cheer up after getting some action. Yeah, I'll be real. 
Bernice is fine just the way she is. I mean, then again, she really is a fine woman with them fine assets. I don't think. Meow. Fine. I gotta work hard for next month's power bill. Alright, this is it. The final part of Bernie's request. Piper, get yourself together! I'm Oh man, not this creature again. What was that snail? Let's catch up with them. Oh, look, Piper. It's that strange enemy again. Hmm. We can't let our guard down. No. There you are. What? Piper, take a break. Wouldn't be surprised if there was. Uh, déjà vu? <laughs> oh, thank you, kind-hearted youngsters, and this cutie Bang Boo, of course. Wait just a minute. I'm glad you're okay. Anyone would have done the same. Wait, is it just me, or does it seem like this old man is about to pull out a lottery ticket to show his gratitude? You, how did you know? I haven't taken out the lucky lottery ticket I use as my lucky charm yet. <sighs> I knew it! Is this one of those pranks that you kids are into these days? Or was I right all along about the impending doom of the world? and the new Eridu government monitoring everyone. Uh... Wow! It's a wonderful thing! But calm down first. At the very least, I can guarantee that I, Bernice, am not a government agent. Uh, I can't vouch for the two next to me, though. <clears throat> hey, you've known us for ages. Vouch for us. 
Ah, oh, fine. Since you look like my mm, first love when she was young, I'll take your word for it. Uh, here, take this lottery ticket. It'll bring you good luck. Thanks! Is this a miracle lottery ticket that can win three million? A miracle? Miracles are worth so much more than just three million. Since I started carrying this lottery ticket, I've never had a bad day. Such an incredible streak of luck is worth more than 30 million. Amazing! Is 30 million enough to transform a volcano into a nitro fuel fountain? 30 mil? I don't need that much. 10 million is more than enough to solve all of Steel Tusk's problems. Yep. Deja vu. Why are you getting carried away too, Piper? Calm down, both of you. But I really can sense a lucky energy from this lottery ticket. It feels warm and sticky. Yes. That's not lucky energy. Come to your senses, Bernice. Proxy, stop overthinking things. This 30 million could ease all the hardships of an adult's weary life. Now's the time to celebrate. If I were in the car, I'd be honking like mad. This is not gonna end well. And I hope I'm wrong. Oh no. Piper's pupils have become Denny signs. I've only ever seen that happen to one person before. Nicole! That's definitely a jab to Nicole. <laughs> I'm going to be the goddess of a volcanic lake filled with nitro fuel. Did you drop this bottle of vintage drink? Or that glass of dearest special? Mm -hmm. Steel Tusk, wait for me. I'll never give up on you. I'll make you the best drunk in the history of the Outer Ring. Uh, don't just stand there, Proxy. The live broadcast of the lottery is over, but we can still check the winning numbers in a newspaper. Bernice and I will look for a newspaper. We'll wait for you to come and witness this miracle moment. And in my end, in the disappointment. So we'll see. I ended in a disappointment. Yeah, this tabloid paper has its own lottery section. I bought it because there's a special analysis inside that records all the previous winning numbers. 30 million, 30 million, 30 million. You two are getting your hopes a little high. My hands are shaking so hard right now. Even more than that time I dreamt that I couldn't find the bathroom. Proxy, could you please check those numbers for us? <sighs> Let's read the retrieve newspaper. It's open. Are you sure you want to check the winning numbers? Yes. There's they're the winning numbers. Are you sure you want to check them against the number on the ticket? Yes. Hmm. What? Rewind. What? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Oh wait, I can't, I can't go, I can't say anymore. I can't say anymore. I, I might get DMC8. I'll just shut the hell up. Proxy, do you have any good news for us? Uh, let's just troll them. I have both good news and bad news. I strongly suggest that you hear the bad news first. No, I want to hear the good news first. 
I think it's about time something good happened in my life. I want to hear the good news too. I'm the type who always hears the good news first. Let's just switch the uh, bad news to good news. I see. Okay then. The good news is we won the 30 million jackpot. I knew it! I knew it! Calm down first. Don't forget about the bad news. The ticket was issued more than a year ago. I checked the conditions and the redemption period is one year. Ooh. The redemption period ended one month ago, which means the prize money has been returned to the pool. No way! So you're saying we have no claim to the 30 million anymore? <sighs> if you think about it from another perspective, maybe the 3 million we won before is part of this 30 million! <sighs> Huh? Uh, what do you think, Piper? Does thinking about it like that make you feel better? <laughs> uh -oh. That's more like it! There's nothing I love more than Piper's joyful smile and infectious laughter! That doesn't look like a happy smile. I'm not sure if that's the sound of laughter or a breaking heart. I knew it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. I once thought I understood everything, but now I know that I don't understand anything at all. <sighs> Sorry, Steel Tusk. I'll reinstall your old engine and return to my old life. <sighs> What's wrong with that? After all, the characters all return to their old lives at the end of adventure stories. I don't understand, but I'm sure about one thing. You mustn't reinstall the old engine. What will I do with the new fuel formula I spent all night researching if you do that? Oh, what's that? You have a new fuel formula? Oh, didn't I tell you? While thinking about Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency issue after our last test drive, it hit me. Why not tackle a fuel problem with a fuel-related solution, instead of making hardware modifications? I already tested the effects of my new formula with Steel Tusk this morning! What? How did it go? Eh, I guess it was okay. It consumed about 10% more fuel than the old engine. I added a little more of the good stuff to the formula. But the cost increases a bit, too. But I'm sure you'll be okay with it if it means Steel Tusk can perform at its best. Oh, you're right. This solves Steel Tusk's fuel consumption problem. I know, I know. What you want to do most right now is to test it out, right? I should have enough of the test fuel to fill up the tank. I'll fill it up now. It won't be long. Bernice runs off cheerfully while Piper looks on with mixed feelings. She's so amazing. The charm of a return to everyday life ending. Perhaps it's because the everyday includes friends like Bernice and you, Proxy. Compared to suddenly getting rich and feeling lonely after a major life change, maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> no, I still really want to get rich. What should I do? Buddy. Even I like to get rich too, to be real. I totally get it. Even just once, I'd like to get a legal, unexpected amount that would change my life. Right? I knew you'd understand. But maybe Lady Luck prefers innocent people like Bernice more than realists like us. <laughs> the tank is filled to the brim. Full speed ahead, Steel Tusk! Vroom, vroom. <laughs> well, I'm off now. You take care, Proxy. Don't worry. I'll be sure to call you the next time Bernice enters a hollow to save some old people. All right. All right, let's head back to the store. What a roller coaster of emotions. But despite getting let down by the lottery, Bernice helping Piper with her situation was still pretty sweet, right? 
Before I go into power saving mode, please be advised, there is a customer in the video store. Please consider getting ready master. Speaking of the devil... What? Oh, Nicole. Our little investment portfolio, well, we might have taken a lot of kids there for a while, but they're having a massive surge in price today that paid off everything we ever said and then some. These are on the up and up for us. Let me see, it's actually real? I feel really touched to see the sum of hours that we invested with a again. Breaking even is just the beginning. Striking in which always happens overnight, and it's a chance to turn your life around. If you got any money lying around, you should shove it all into this. I was this close to pawning Billy at Turbo for some more cash. And don't ask if it was for us as staff. Or for more spare parts. I didn't even think about that. The point is, if you don't strike while the iron is hot and gets more in this, you're gonna miss out. Come on, Foxy. I'm just waiting for or, on your go ahead. After a short while. Not only do you not make any fall about investments, you withdrew all your capital. I get it. When you seeing that serendipitous experience with Bernice and Piper, it's enough to make your question everything you know you truly know about your life. Uh, money. I just really couldn't trust Nicole's investment instincts. Can I with that? At least not until the cutting hairs pay us back the money we're owed. Besides, there's more to life than just money. There are plenty of things we could do as Phaeton if it's just about making money. We're on the same page about this, right? Living a good life one step at a time. That's what's most important. But then again, what if Nikos Investments really did earn a stack of cash? Would should we get keep, keep you up all night wise? Just kidding. It's been a crazy day already. You go get some rest. Ugh. And that is the end of Bernie's agent story slash story quest. A stroke of luck. Well, I will say this, this story, I didn't expect this um, story quest to be as engaging and relatable at the same time. And yes, as a matter of fact, I really wish I had a tons of money so that, so that I can utilize those money for for a better me for a better for a better improvement of myself i can't I, I don't really know how to describe it but but yeah but still regardless of how how is your financial status we still try our utmost best to live the best of our life so i can see Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed my playthrough and reaction to Bernie's agent story so far, I do a face a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on uh, Bernie's agent story. And as a matter of fact, right, for those of you who uh, who don't have um, Bernie's, will you guys will be pulling for her? Or are you guys saving up for future characters? Anyhow. Yeah, this is a very this is a very interesting agent story to say the least. Interesting, engaging, and relatable. And as a matter of fact, right, I kind of want to check out the uh, the rest of the agent archive. Like cheese, I haven't done yet. I believe this is Rina, um, Lycan, maybe. This is okay. This is a Colada. Later, Iron Witch is. I'm, I'm pretty sure I already checked out Grace. Yeah. Grace, I already checked out. Okay, and Mozzie and Nekomana. 
Yeah, this is Nekomana. And I really I really should consider finishing off um Soldier Eleven's um agent story, but Look, I'll I'll get into it later. I'll get into it later, he can see. But anyway, once again guys, thank you guys for watching this video. My name is AJ. Have a good one. And I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.